Pleasure hack number four is the pleasure hour. The pleasure hour is exactly what you think it is. 60 minutes of good feelings, hopefully once a week. In other words, it's kind of like a healing habit. The pleasure hour is a time to work on what I call recovery and discovery. Let me offer you an analogy to let you see what I'm thinking about here. Let's say that as a very little girl, one day a bully who lived next door, a bully boy, came by and he hit my knee. Well, let's imagine that he hit it very hard and he used some kind of an instrument, like even a hammer. Smash my knee. Bullies do horrible things sometimes, don't they? Well, after that incident, I might have some issues. Maybe for a little time, I might have issues for a long time, many, many years. I might be frightened of someone who looks like that bully boy. It's natural. Maybe I get freaked out when I see hammers. It could be that I am angry at my mother for not protecting me from the attack. But also, I might have some problems with my knee. What happens when we talk about rehabilitating ourselves after sexual violation is we neglect to talk about the areas of the body that were actually damaged and how those areas can be rehabilitated. The pleasure hour is a time to work on your knee. I said it was recovery and discovery. Well, recovery could be a time to just work on, let's say, the antidote. It could be a time to give yourself the opposite of whatever it is that ails you. So let's say that it's some kind of soothing or gentle touch, self-touch. Let's say that it's a way for you to feel safe in your own skin, a time to practice feeling safe in your own skin. If it's appropriate, you can bring in erotic touch. Again, your touch. Maybe some toys. In this way, you start to rewire your system or maybe wire it for the first time so that your nervous system makes a connection between touch, safety, and pleasure. This becomes the foundation that you can use for partnered sex. It's also a foundation that you can use to help you not be triggered. Let's talk about discovery. Discovery is a time when you could investigate as an example, this. <laughs> Just raise your hand silently if you know what this is. You think you know what it is. Yeah. Oh, I love this good sex ed going on here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this is a clitoris in, in actual size. A lot of people think that the clitoris is exclusively this little portion right here called the glands, which is the head, but actually it's the entire structure. This is an erect clitoris. And the reason that people don't know that this is the whole clitoris is because sex education in this country, and I think most countries, is awful. <laughs> when I say discovery, I mean you use your pleasure hour to do your own sex research. Your own sex research. Because if you can find for yourself this new relationship with safety, with education, with a knowledge of what you like, what turns you on, if you can find that, you could find a new relationship with your sexuality, which is a relationship with your body, 
which is a relationship with your life. That's healing hack number four.